contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Salem, Massachusetts, weighing 175 pints of blood, Timothy Plasma! Weighing Wrestling fans, East Coast Pro Wrestling and Adrenaline TV. It's Gino Caruso and Kevin Apollo, and uh, Happy New Year to everyone! And what a way to kick off! We got Timothy Plasma back from an absence, and he's wrestling a newcomer, Hawaiian Allen. What do you know about him, Kevin? Not a thing. Oh, right, actually, you did. Yeah, so you did your homework. Okay, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I usually have that problem with Joey G, but I, I guess I, it's. Uh, I got to the building a little late. I, I, I you know, uh, I was shocked that we saw Sim Timothy Plasma uh, back. Back after back a long hiatus, yeah, yeah, back from the dead. <laughs> well, we know, I know, uh, Hawaiian Allen, uh, been around for a while, well traveled, wrestled overseas a lot. He is uh, very, you know, quick, light heavyweight, uh, martial arts background. All right, judo background, and obviously, you know, very good. Uh, Solid wrestler, and nice here in ECBW. Arm drag. That was very nice. I haven't yeah. seen one of those in a long not, time. Not really, struggle. right? <laughs> ah, plasma oh, going for the bite. Plasma going for the bite. So we open up with a. Is that the? Uh, what the hell is that? I think that's the vampironi. <laughs> Wrestling fans, you never know what you're going to see on ECBW Adrenaline <laughs> TV. We're smiling. It's a new year, 2017. But Kevin Apollo, what a year 2016 was. That's right. Uh, 20. Wow, man. 2016, we saw the crowning of a new, new champions across the board. You know, uh, just hand to man uh, defeats and banishes Frankie Flo from ECBW. The the, the amazing Graysons uh, dethrone Team Shazam. Uh, Brandon Alpha. Uh, dominates during that light heavyweight title and has been on a tear ever since. And, and you know what? what? Plasma like doing we're here. He's setting them up. We're saying goodbye to the Arctic chill that closed out 2016 with some <laughs> hot adrenaline action. Oh, wow. Right to the well defined abdomen. Yeah. You can tell that, you know, Hawaiian Allen works out. He's a, he's a fitness fanatic. He keeps yeah. himself in phenomenal shape. When you're in the land of sun and fun, you better be, you better be working out. That, that is true. If you're going to live in Hawaii, 
You better look good. I gotta wonder if uh, if Line Allen has uh, cross hats with a uh, you know an ECW Hall of Famer, the Metal Maniac. Well, if you're in life. Hawaii any length of time, you will find him. <laughs> he usually roams uh, Diamond Head Mountain. <laughs> Nice, there's that uh, judo background. Nice, and there's the nice, suplex nice. on that funny little head. Very nice, uh, nice there. We, we see a lot of, you know, we got a lot of matches coming up. We're gonna see Crazy Ivan uh, later on against Prince Akhenaten. And then you mentioned the light heavyweight uh, champion, Alpha, Brandon Alpha will be here in a rematch with Joe Scott. Uh, so this is the match I'm uh, looking forward to. You know, I gotta say Joe Scott was probably Ooh. the one who took uh, Alpha uh, I took it to the limit. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And we saw some great matches. Look at these two just trade, trading punches wow, back and man. forth. This, this went from a wrestling match to a boxing match. Beautiful drop kick. Oh, oh. oh nice. It's been uh, Hawaiian Allen going on a tear here. And we talked, we touched that 2016 was a banner year for ECBW. Absolutely. We saw crowds rising, the TV stations filling up with ECBW Adrenaline TV, new look, new, new, new locker room, uh, everything. That's right. Well, and, and, you know, speaking of new locker room, I'm looking very forward to seeing the amount of new talent that's been joining, the, that's going to join the roster over over the next four weeks here in Adrenaline TV. Well, you'll be seeing their fans and uh, some of their favorites and some new ones. Yeah, the one thing we always talk about when you talk about ECBW, you talk about Adrenaline TV. Oh, look at this that. This is truly a land of opportunity. Oh, oh beautiful super kick. He didn't quite catch him. Uh, he didn't quite, well, he was stupefied when he walked that's in. True. That might be it. He may have actually smartened him up a little bit. And that's it. Nice. Beautiful win. Here's Here's your winner, winner Hawaiian Hawaii Allen. Somewhere the metal maniac is sitting with his toes in the sand, the white kiki. Saying I told the brother to go see ECPW. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Anderson, and you're watching ECPW. W. Folks, I'm standing by this time with Dan the Man, the world heavyweight chip. God, that's bad for you. What you're looking at right now is the greatest heavyweight champion, two times heavyweight champion, the face of the company, Dan the Man. So guys out there want to be champions, material, guys like Timothy Plasma, guys like Prince Akanaka, and Crazy Ivan. All you guys got to realize that you can't win, and they all should cheer for me. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from his adopted country, weighing 260 pounds, Prince Akanate! This next knock on his happy hour, it features Haywire and Jesse. I'm some of my brothers with you. <laughs> Submit some bitch. Hey, Haywire, I'm JC. Hey, it's time to turn up. Turn us. You look like you need some liquid. Won't buy you a drink, but I got these drink tickets. We should kick it. You should bring your cousin with you. Both of you are buzzing, and I'm loving how that fits you. I'm an issue, I'm kind of a big deal. I'm little to the idiots, and then I'm like shit. Yeah. You know when that is real, when the owner of the club pays me hundred dollar bill. I say that shit in plural. Since 2011, I've only accepted euro. Mixing liquids like a mural. I add to my towel to my towel and cycle a mural. His opponent from East Jersey State Prison in Rowway, weighing 202 pounds, Crazy Ivan! Here he comes, the little Tasmanian right. devil is loose. Right <laughs> 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 
is it is it amazing how many people love this <laughs> ex-convict. <laughs> I think I thought the high lawyer. He beat up uh, Jack Coleman, what, 10 years ago? He still mocked up for it? Well, that usually be like a, uh, like a 90 day. He got a bad rap. She's stealing a nice stealing purse. This one of my new screens, and her mom, and your mom. <laughs> Junior. Coin a six-man tag with Colossus last week. I didn't realize how really big he is until you're in the ring and you, there's no room. Uh-oh. Oh, look at this. And he's trying to jump start. Uh, you're not going to outsmart Ivan. That's right. The Prince tried to sneak in there from behind and uh, try to uh, uh, catch Ivan. Tried to, tried to uh, hit him with the shiv in the yard. Ivan was uh, too, too, crappy, smart, too for that. smart for that. He's got that rope wrapped around his wrist, uh, blocking the Prince's attempt here, but the Prince able to hit Ivan in the side. Right in the kidneys with that knee, uh, getting uh, getting the crazy convict uh, down to his uh, down to a knee here. Yeah, I mean, I, you know that usually you're not going to outsmart Ivan like that. Kicking off the new year with some uh, some classic uh, tactics here. This is a this is a, a classic uh, Prince here. Well, you know, Ivan had a great 2016. I mean. Absolutely. He did have that injury, he came back from it from Dan the Man, now he's looking for the belt. But well, yeah, uh, Dan the Man uh, put Ivan out, uh, and put him out on the shelf for, uh, for a period of uh, months there. Closed out 2016, had a very impressive showing of chaos. Um, now he's hell-bent on, uh, on securing that ECBW, heavy, uh, ECBW Heavyweight Championship. But uh, right now the Prince is uh, giving Ivan a run for his money. <coughs> He's got, you usually don't see the Prince at the higher elevations. And that's oh, why. That's why. He came down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> In fact, it looks like he's like wearing that sack of potatoes. A little, a little too much holiday cheer for the Prince. But I'm surprised that he had Ivan right from the get-go now. But there's the opening that Ivan just got. There it is. And you don't want to give Ivan an opening. That's why you got this rabid. You got this rabid pit bull. Now he's uh, starting to catch fire. Oh! <laughs> oh! Referee better get out of the way too. He'll hit him. Oh. Ivan will not spare anybody. No. I think the referee should uh, have his shoes and bite his pants legs down <laughs> and maybe uh, to get a little acquainted. I don't know where the flood was, but. Oh man. But Ivan is just hitting some haymakers. I mean, I've been in the ring with him. You've been in the ring with Ivan. You know what he's like. That's the thing he's, the last he's, thing he's, you want to do. He's not a big guy, but he get, you get hit with every pound that he has. Yeah. You feel yeah, it. He got a lot of force in every single one of those blows. And Simon's one of those competitors, man, that the second you give him an inch. Oh, that could be it. Elbow drop, I think that might be it. No, nah, that oh. could have. I think that could have been it. I don't oh. think Ivan wants it to be it. Prince looks like he's a... Uh, Looks like he's trying to get out of there. Oh. Oh, point and choke. That's what we're talking about. He gave him that inch, and now he's going to make you pay for it. I, I think Ivan is scared. The, the ref is too scared to even count. Well, looking at the referee, it looks like a stiff wind would knock him over. Oh, oh that was vicious. 
Clothesline back break. That Eric is all she wrote. Here's your winner. Crazy the out of 2017 off of the Bucket Bank. He looks more vicious than ever. Yeah. And maybe focus on that heavyweight title oh, belt right. of Dan the Man. Dan the Man better watch out. This is Tito Santana. You're watching ECPW Adrenal TV. Arriba! Folks, I'm standing by at this time with a Scottish fighter, Kyle Angus, and I. You know, I'm sad, and, uh, and I was, as a fan, I apologize for what has transpired. It's all right, Andrew. And you know what? Like, just like you said, I am a Scottish fighter, and I am that Scottish fighter who always brings that fire because it doesn't matter if it's a torn meniscus, a broken rib, or a brain tumor. I am going to make 2017 the best year of my damn career. And Brandon Alpha, you did this to me, and now I'm coming for blood. Watch your back. Let's get, let's, let's get back to ringside. The following contest, set for one fall, is for the ECPW Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Randolph, New Jersey, weighing 205 pounds, Joe Scott. That's good energy right there, Joe Scott. All right. All right, we saw him have a really good second half toward, or the fourth quarter, as it were, of 2016. What do you think about 2017, Joe Scott? Listen, uh, Could it start off with the, the year of Joe Scott? This guy's been on a, a tremendous roll. You know, uh, showed up, he was a little reserved, and I don't know what it was, but... Just like that, as we hit the uh, final uh, the, the final quarter of 2016, he came out of his shell and he's been on a roll. His opponent, now residing in London, England, weighing 185 pounds, he is the ECPW Light Heavyweight Champion, the Violent Gent, Brandon Alpha. And Brandon Alpha is still without the light heavyweight belt. He says it was stolen. Yeah, you know, I, you know, received word from the championship committee that Alpha has uh, submitted a petition claiming that uh, the light heavyweight title was stolen. Others say he hocked it and and got the money. Now I don't know. But I think it, a, a more in-depth investigation should be. Should be done with that. He cornered me in the hallway, um, complaining about, and I told him, "Well, print out a certificate of achievement." Oh! And, and just remind the world, what a jump start there! What a what a cheap shot! That's right. I mean, yeah. that's it's not very uh, gentlemanlike. Not really. Fans, don't forget, next week, you're going to get to see Kenny Bengal, Tony Rush, debut of a lot of new newcomers. Fans, you want to know about upcoming events and how to contact us, that number or website will be at the end of the program. Definitely stay tuned for that information. Beautiful. <coughs> Jerry sent uh, run the Alpha into a, into a wibbly-wobbly uh, state. And then Joe Scott uh, uh, capitalized with hitting that a nice drop kick. Only got him a two count though. But Alpha is dazed and slow back up to his feet. Now, Kevin, you see uh, the influx of new talent coming in here. Not only light heavyweights, but 
I mean, I, in the locker room, I seen some pretty big, uh, big uh, monsters. And listen, I, I, I don't why know what's going are, on. Why is there so much talent coming into ECPW? What is it? Listen, this is the place to be. That's right. You, know, you you work hard, you train hard, you prove your worth, you get opportunities. I feel those opportunities to get the ability to shine. You, you, you get you get notoriety. How many other uh, how many other uh, federations out there can say that, that that their programming, that their television programming, is showing in over five million homes in the tri-state area, and another eight million in, in the five boroughs. That's right. You know you know how how many other places say that they're doing over over ninety to hundred shows a year every year. The uh, what, what, you know with the amount of fantastic talent from Hall of Famers like Hacksaw, Jim Duggan. You know, you know, uh, Jimmy Snooker when he was active, coming here. Tito Santana. You no, know, uh, that Greg the Hammer Valentine. Greg the Hammer Valentine. The list goes on That's and right. on from you know, all of the wrestlers. Uh, you know, Tyrus to, to X Pac. <coughs> you know, this is the place that people want to be at. Well, you know, it's like any other like a uh, NFL team when the starter goes down and your backup gets in there and gets an opportunity. Sometimes the starter doesn't get his job back. That's <laughs> right. They, listen, it happens. It happens. Ooh. Oh, Brandon Ooh. Alpha working. I mean, you could say what you want about his attitude, and it's lousy. But, boy, he knows how to wrestle. That's Old school, pick a body part That's and right. work it over. This is a thinking man's wrestler, a very patient guy. You know, he will pick that part, and he will work on it forever and ever and ever. It reminds you of, a, you know, kind of shades of, a, of Gene and Ole Anderson. Well, I'll tell you who he reminds me of, and I, and I had the opportunity to wrestle him. Uh, Dean Malenko, absolutely, who was a you know phenomenal in-ring competitor. I think Brent Alpha a lot is a lot like him, but just has a really terrible attitude. He just he, he, you know and combine that with his wrestling ability, and it, it becomes a dangerous competitor. Uh, looks like uh, looks like the, the the attack in the arm is really starting to take uh, take a toll on Joel, Joe Scott. He uh, you started wiggling it, with, you know, trying to slap some feeling back into it. They pr most likely uh -oh. suffer from like that, that, that pins and needle sensation, which is usually not a good sign. No, it's not. And, uh, you know, like I said, he takes that body part, he works it over. It's sound, fundamental wrestling. Yep. And, uh, you know, you may not like his attitude, but you got to respect his ability. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. Nasty. That's just nasty. You know, we see some great competitors in 2016. You mentioned some of the stars that were in here, uh, from you know Kevin Nash to the Steiners to Demolition to you know Powers Aldo, of Pain, Aldo, yeah. uh, Aldo Rose, Aldo Ricky, Rose Reyes. Ricky Reyes. The list goes on and on, and everybody gets an opportunity to come in here and show what you could do, uh, no, regardless That's of right. your past background. Yeah, listen. Do you think of some of the classic matches that happened? Uh, you know, w w you know, w with these, with these established legendary talents. Well, I mean, yeah. Aldo Rose and Dan the Man, yeah. the heavyweight title on many That's different right. occasions. You know, uh, you think of Sam Shields going uh, toe to toe with the franchise Shane Douglas and getting consecutive wins over yeah. him, and Gangrel. Yeah. So I mean, we've seen this competitors come in here and compete, and are uh, the champions maintain their belts against them. So the level of competition is only going to get even better here. Whoa! Nice. Almost a quick win almost, by Joe Scott. Almost there. And that's Joe Scott has that ability. He's got that, you know, home run chance, the, the fighter's chance. He'll come that's out of right. nowhere with a move. But right now, that cross face is that devastating cross face move. Is locked in. Joe Scott no, is nowhere he, near the ropes. Let's see if he's got the intestinal fortitude to dig deep and, and get to those ropes. Just a little shy. But can he do it? Oh, he did it. All right. He just he worked his way over there. This is what I'm talking about, man. This, 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 There's no quitting, Joe Scott. No. Tough to Again, not to sell out for short. You know, we're talking about guys that had a very explosive close to their uh, 2016. You got to think back to the beginning of 2016. Brandon Alpha was just kind of twisting and turning, you know, kind of right there in the middle of the car. I'd not say really yeah, making, right? making much of an impact. He took some time off, worked on his body, and found a brand new attitude. And what happened? This guy is the reigning defending. Oh, that could be it. Beautiful. Whoa. Whoa. Almost a three. And that was that was two and three seconds away from wow. the new champion. Yeah, but, you know, uh, Alpha again flipped that switch, and, and now he's the reigning defending light heavyweight champion. 
Uh, you know, maybe a maybe oh, the notorious. But, uh, oh, he rolled the oh, throw no, to the chicken, chicken wing. wing. This We've is what makes Alpha so dangerous. Out of nowhere, he can get that move on oh, you. Oh, and Joe, Joe Scott, Scott for the win. I, I haven't seen anybody counter that wow. move, but Joe Scott did. Was it Joe Scott's done his homework? He remembered his last encounter. Ah! Beautiful. One, two. Oh, oh my cool. God. The this fans are on the edge of their seats. They think and we think we're going to see a new light heavyweight That's champion right. tonight. You the fans are going berserk. The fans are going crazy. Wrap this up, Joe. Make the miracle happen. Oh, oh. He just utilized the referee. Skull Skull the shot. It's finest. This great match ending in such a terrible, terrible way. This is shameful. This is shameful. That's, Joe that's Scott travesty got to robbed. justice right there. Joe Scott was robbed. Oh, that was a, uh, you know, that was a great Your back and forth matchup. And Joe and Scott got cheated out of here. ECPW Light Heavyweight Champion, the Violent Gent. Brandon Alpha! Ah, uh, it's that, you know, there's no place for this in professional wrestling.